whatever we edit on timeline is displayed on the display so first of all let me click on this black background on the timeline so i click and select it now when i click and select it i get many options on the right hand side so first of all i will be selecting the first option that stands for color here i got a place where i can adjust color i can give the ratio of red color then the ratio of green color and then the ratio of blue color rgb colors which make the other colors okay so this ratio makes some yellowish kind of color other than this there are two more modes in which i can choose the colors after that uh, there is the next option that is color filter so let me click on this now you see color filter has many options basic so basically this is a filter that can be added to a clip after that is adjustment where you can increase brightness you can decrease brightness contrast saturation and other things now we will be adding a video file on this timeline so to add that we will have to click on media here then i will go to the storage and uh, add any video i want so see i have added this short video so i can show it to you so okay so this much is the video okay but i only want a selected part of this video suppose that i am here and i don't want the left part of this video so what i will do i will select this video i will click on this scissor like option that stands for trim and split so i will click on this option now there are four displays if i want to trim the left part so i do not want the previous part so i will trim the left part of play ahead okay so if i trim the left part then the video then the video will begin from somewhat middle okay so the left part has gone let me undo it from here after that in the same way if i don't want the right part so i will trim the right of play ahead c now if i again play the video so it is starting but the end is not as it was okay so i have trimmed the right part of this video i will undo it again now if i want to break between these two videos this video so i will split at it at play ahead now when i split it at play ahead you see these have become two different videos this was one video but it has split into two parts so what is the benefit of this suppose i give it some speed like i give this part speed of 1.4 and the other part i give speed of 0.5 so the same video i can give different speeds that is a very good option to use so now we will be exploring the layer feature of kind master so let me click on layer and the first option visible is media i will go to media i will go to background and suppose i take this layer okay so this media layer has come upon the overall clip this was a little clip but i have uh, imposed a media on it okay media layer so here are again there are many options like trim i showed you in animation out animation cropping so these are some options that uh, you must be knowing and then i come on layer the second option available is effect let me go on effect and uh, maybe this is like a basic effect and mask it please where i imposed it it acts upon it okay so without effect it looks like this and with effect it looks like this so there is a difference effect make a difference after that let me again go to layer overlay overlay basically stands for stickers so see i have got many stickers over here so but 
I will be showing you classic stickers only. So you can see, you can add stickers even to your video. Now I will again tap on layer and I will go to text. Suppose I want to write subscribe, okay. Subscribe on my video. I will click on ok over here. Now see this text has appeared. So I will give it a desired font by clicking here. Then I will give it the desired color. And after that I will give it the desired uh, position and then you can see this in animation overall animation and out animation suppose I click on in animation and add fade so it will come up like this it will fade and come up I go to out animation and I uh, click slide up so it will exit like slide up okay so let me show it comes fading it remains and it goes by sliding up so this is the way you have to add text to your video after that i will click layer go to handwriting maybe i want to add some handwriting on my video okay so i will add by this option in kind master and you see the handwriting has appeared now when your editing is over you have to export your video for that click on the share sign at the top right corner of this page now when you click here you are redirected to the page where you have to export the video the quality here is auto given so you do not need to change it unless it is mentioned somewhere my this video will take about 3 mb so let me export it see it has been exported now and you can find it in your gallery this video made exclusively for beginners comes to an end now we will be talking about some other good features in the next video. Thanks for watching.